So keep it going for these last two, man. Your second class comic coming stage. A guy I've done shows all over Las Vegas with for years, and I'm thrilled to have him back on our stage. Rain to know is Las Vegas for Coy Cook. Come on! <laughs> Somebody tell the DJ I was black. <laughs> What the fuck was that? He's a nice guy though, but he didn't know that it was me next. How you ladies doing? You guys, look, you guys look upset. Yeah, like y'all already want y'all money back. He was like, hey, we didn't like this. See the lady was up here earlier? Told me she kept saying the C word. <laughs> Man, she's so uncomfortable because I know I can't say it. I'm like, oh, I want to say it so bad. And I know how white people feel about the N word. I was like, oh, I want to say the C word so bad. <laughs> Yeah, that one. Yeah, see, I'm glad, I'm glad you caught on. I wanted to say it so bad, but she was like, making me cringe. So now I know how you white people feel, so I apologize. Yeah, okay, you're showing off now. Stop bragging. I don't like it. What is that? Okay. Jesus. It's like, I've never looked. Honestly, I've never seen this many black people here before, so pardon me. This is different for me. I was like, when too many black people get around me, I get nervous. Not because I'm scared of black people, because I watch a lot of late night television, and they say like, they say like one in five African Americans have HIV, and I'm like, oh shit. So like, somebody this motherfucker got it, apparently, according to statistics. And it concerns me. It concerns me. So somebody got it. I don't know. It's not me. Raise your hands if you got it. I'm trying to trick somebody into telling on yourself. That's all I'm trying to do. Scary. Yeah, I'm stupid as hell. It's about to get real dumb with the haters. He's like, but see, but I like you. I like that you're here supporting me. Don't sound like you're here for me because you're black and I'm black. But what I'm really here for tonight, I'm trying to find a nice white family to go home to. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Look, shoot, I, I, I need to because of any day now, Trump might bring back slavery. And I need, <laughs> need a nice white home to go to. Go to. He's like, man, I'm telling you, because like, wow, God, because it's cause I'm a single dude and I'm looking for love, but I'm not finding the right kind of love, because I've seen different types of love. Like you guys, like you guys are in love, but that's not the ultimate type of love that you guys are in. Like what I'm looking for, I'm looking for somebody to love me like white people love their dogs. <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. Like when I get home after the show, I would love to go home to a woman that's so excited to see me, she pee a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm looking for. And I said, like, you white people, like, you guys love your dogs. And it got me thinking. I was like, man, like, white people, like, you, like, like, you people, like, not you people, but like, your people. <laughs> Had you had treated the slaves back then like you treat your dogs now, would never want to be free? Man, there's some truth to that. I know, like, some black people was like, mm, I don't know. I was like, man, look, I'm tired of working. I'm tired of working every day, going somewhere I don't want to have to be. When I just be sitting up and some nice white lady bed while her husband at work kissing her in the mouth. <laughs> All the peanut butter I can eat, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Getting real freaky in white ladies' homes. <laughs> man, it's real. What you guys judging me? Okay, so I'm tired of working, man. I'm tired of, I'm tired of failing, man. I keep failing on hitting the lotto. Man, they keep telling you how much money you can win. Half a billion dollars, you can win, you can win. I never win. So I'm having these weird discussions with my homeboys about like, hey, for a billion dollars, would you suck a dick? And I'm not one of these macho dudes that's like, too macho to suck a dick for money. I'm like, look. <laughs> and the price is right. I'm like, look. I'm like, but I got questions. I'm like, okay. It's tax free. <laughs> government ain't getting this money if I suck this dick. Because the government down here with me, sucking this dick, you don't get nothing. It's just me. And I got, and I got concerns. I have concerns because if, because I feel like if I do too good of a job, like he gonna think I'm gay and I've done it before. <laughs> But at the same time, I do a bad job. Like lots of ladies, like y'all do a bad job and hoping like somebody make you stop. But if I'm down there doing a bad job, I'm down there for a long time. And I don't want to be down there for a long time. I don't. And I got this asshole friend of mine. He's like, but would you swallow? And I'm like, ooh, shit, that's a whole different tax bracket, dog. I don't know. Like I said, I got questions. I'm like, okay, like what did he eat like before I swallowed? I'm not just. 
Did he have any pineapples or pineapple juice? Like, is that like a real thing? Does it work, ladies? Yeah? Who said it? Who said yeah? Okay, okay, all right, all right. Hey, good for you, brother. Good for you. She said, yeah. I love doing that joke because usually there's a dude that's like, yeah, it works. I'm like, nigga, how you know? <laughs> like, because I don't care how much pineapple juice I drink. Like, I don't like anybody enough to taste it before my baby is ready. <laughs> you, like, when you find out, you let me know. I don't, I'm not doing it. Well, be careful out here. Be careful out here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we're talking about everything earlier about the Negroes happening. And I don't like to go out with too many black dudes because. I don't want one of us to have it, and then, so, like I said, it's one in five, so I'm like, usually I'm gonna go out with, like, maximum three other black dudes. I'm like, look. <laughs> look, Lamont, you gotta stay home tonight, because it's... <laughs> not doing it. Not doing it. You gotta be careful out here. Just women out here, you guys are being tricky. You guys are being tricky. You guys have to get us all riled up, and then slow things down. Like, fellas, you ever been on a date with a girl? She's licking on your ear and kissing on your neck, and you think it's going well? So what do you do? You pull your dick out? <laughs> and she's like, what you want me to do with that? I want you to suck it. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not putting that in my mouth. I don't know where it's been. It's usually the reply. And I don't know about most dudes, but my dick been in my pants all day, baby. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. That's my dick been in my pants all day. Meanwhile, you can lick it on my neck and, 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 and suck it on my ear. I don't know about most dudes, but I wash my dick every day. Every day. I clean my ear maybe two, three times a week. <laughs> Get your tongue on my ear. And I know people judge me because like, you clean your ears two, three times a week? Yes, yes. Because when I use that Q-tip, I need that satisfaction of when you pull it out, you're like, oh, okay, it's clean. It's fucking clean. There's something on there. You guys are judging me, but it, you ever took a poop and like wiped and there was nothing on the paper? And you're like, uh-uh, uh-uh. And you look back, there's poop. Where's the poop? It ain't right. Why you guys looking at me like, this guy, he, this guy's in his 30s playing with his poop. Yeah, I play with my poop in my 30s. It's entertaining. This is things that guys do. They won't tell you, but I'm going to tell you. I like to play games with my poop. I don't actually like to play when you touch it, but I, I look at it. I like to see a job well done. Like, you know what? I worked hard. I gave birth to that, and I want to recognize it. So what I like to do is I like to play the corn game. Anybody play the corn game? I'm gonna play a corn game. Okay, for those who don't play, the corn game is where you eat corn, and you can like you poop, and then you see if it's still corn. And like me, what I do is I chew my corn. I chew the shit out this corn. Like I grind the fuck out this damn corn, and then I poop, and I go see if it's still corn. Corn is undefeated. Corn has beat me every time. I'm gonna tell you how undefeated corn is. I had some cream corn the other day, it came out on the cob. It was fucking crazy. I'm like, man, I can't stand corn. She's like, he's disgusting. It's okay, your man played the corn game, but I'm like, I know he, he, he acted cool when he played the corn game. He didn't play it once or twice. If, if not, it's because he didn't know about it, but I bet you now he played the corn game. Mm -hmm. What's today? It's, it's Saturday, but I bet you by Tuesday you gonna be cooking some corn for that nigga. I promise you. Hey, you know what I want some corn? I'm tired of broccoli. But you guys judge me, you guys. You guys okay? You guys been in love for a long time? 23 years? Oh man, you ain't tired of it yet? Nah, that's good coochie, man. Congratulations. You know? Man, I hope that I last that long with somebody. I can't. I said, I can't stand these women, man. But if you guys are, but I can't do nothing without you guys, because I don't like dudes. That's weird. <laughs> I ain't trying to think about you here to like dudes, but I don't like dudes. I can't mess with it. Like, but I do do what you guys do, and I use dudes. So, like, tonight, like, I'm going to go out tonight, and I'm going to have a good time, but I'm cheap. So, instead of going out and buying drinks, I like to swim by the gay club. Because at the gay club, I'm the bad bitch. <laughs> So I'm like, I don't do that. But I played a part, I played a role. That's why I got my, these, these, these are my gay jeans. Uh, so you gotta be careful when you're in there with these dudes. But these dudes, I, I realize how bad men are to women. So you go in there and these dudes think they slick. They offer you a drink, and I'm thinking he's being a cool guy. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, man, I'll take a drink. And he's I don't know about you, but I'm not buying no drinks unless somebody fuck you. And I'm like, ooh, okay. So I had to buy him a drink. So we're even. It went back and forth all night until he hit me with that closing line, like, you ready to fuck? 
he said, so you ready to get out of here? And I said, ooh, uh, hey, man, you're a nice guy, and I like you and everything, but I can't go home with you tonight. And he's like, why not? And I said, honestly? He's like, yeah. I said, uh, I'm on my period, dog. Uh, <laughs> that's my time. I'm Coy Cook. You guys have a good night. Good for Coy Cook. Let him hear it. And he's right. He's a real bitch when he's on his period. You don't want to deal with him. We got one comic left before I bring him up, though, real quick. Make some noise for everyone at Hooters who makes our show possible. Max, I'd like to sound. Castle and Danny getting drunk and Christian and Georgie at the door. You just have the final comic coming to stage. One of my best friends in comedy. We've toured all over the country together from Washington to Florida, everywhere in between. Make some noise for your final comic tonight.